Good morning, V-teamers. Hopefully you had a chance to look at the uh, short video that I did this morning. Uh, today is a very big day in the life of Verizon. We're going to be introducing our new CEO. So joining me this morning is Hans Vesberg. Uh, Hans, I guess we should start out just by saying congratulations. Uh, a big job. I'm happy to turn the reins over to you. What are your thoughts? Oh, Laul, thank you. Um, and to all of you out there, I mean, it's an, I'm honored and humbled and excited for this opportunity to lead one of the most uh, fantastic companies in our industry with all the assets we have and all the people we have. So I can only say to all of you, this is exciting to continue with the leadership under Lowell to continue to, to make this company going forward. And of course, using all the V-teamers out there to make the best out of it. So. Yes, I, I'm, I'm really excited over it, <laughs> I'd say. So, um, as, uh, as we explained in the announcement, um, Hans is going to dive into the operations side of the business in addition to the network uh, piece. So, Hans, how do you see that transition? What should people expect to see from you? I think that first of all, um, uh, we're going to have a great partnership. I mean, you will will continue as the executive chairman to the rest of the year. We're going to uh, share and work together on certain things. I need to get deeper down in some areas which I have not worked with before. I mean, I've predominantly been focused on network and technology, which of course are impacting the rest of the company. So I'm going to direct myself more to the commercial side. Uh, and uh, we will have a, a good transition for me coming into the role where you and I can work together. So. And I see that I'm going to continue to work with the leadership team and the strategy we have and continue to see that we execute well on that. But uh, short term is a partnership how we're going to work this together. So one of the points I tried to make to the V team today is we have to do it in the right time frame. And so stability of results, we've had four great quarters in a row here. But I think more importantly is the, tr the transition on technology. And I feel it's really important to sort of let the new guy uh, set the course for 5G. And with your background, it's, a per it's perfect for you to lead the business because that's where you've lived for your last 28 years, yeah. I guess, when you've been with Ericsson. So, so what sort of opportunities are running around in your head relative to 5G that the team ought to know about? So what really excited me when I joined Verizon April last year was first of all um, the assets we have in the company. I mean, we are ranging from the everything we have in Oath to the best network, wireless network, and we have Wireline and all of that. I think that's one thing that excites me. On top of that, of course, is all the people and the execution capabilities of the company that is unparalleled, never seen any like it. And obviously, the unprecedented change we have in the marketplace and then adding on the 5G. And that was really what brought me into the company and what's really exciting me to continue to lead the company in that transition into these areas with those assets and those people. So I think uh, this is just a continuation of how I saw the company from the outside. And now I've been there for more than one year. I, I've really seen that happening in front of me with all this excitement. So the employees should feel pretty excited about you taking the reins here. I'm, uh, I'm I'm very happy to hand them over. Um, investors are going to want to know, okay, what's, uh, what, what's changing with Lowell uh, heading into the chairmanship role and you taking over the CEO role? What, what message would you have for our investors out there? I think that the main message is pretty clear. I'm, I've been part of the executive team now for quite a while. I mean, I've been part of all the strategic decisions we've taken. I'm part of the, the way we're working with technology and commercial. So my job is, of course, to continue to execute on that one together with the team. And, and I, I will do so. So that is the main message I want to send to investors, to our employees, and to everyone. We just need to execute on what we have in front of us, which is great opportunities. So I guess I'd just say in closing to the V team, I've uh, known Hans uh, well for five years. I've certainly had my eye on him for 10 years. I, I know him uh, as a leader and I know him as a family man. And over the last year, the board went through a very rigorous process in getting to know Hans and uh, they've come to respect him and know him as well as I do. And I couldn't be more excited that the last thing I do in my career is hand the reins of a great company over to a great leader like Hans. So I know that I can count on all of you to give Hans the kind of support and respect that you've given me. And I think the best years of Verizon are still ahead. Thank you very much. <laughs>